Support Wrestle Talk. Like us on Facebook. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, still wearing our brand new Support Wrestle Talk T-shirt for three days now to promote it. So click on the eye above my head or the link in the video description below to order yours now. Please, they're making me wear this. I can't. And ordering a T-shirt isn't the only way you can support Wrestle Talk. You can also make signs to confuse other wrestling fans. Ever since Luke incorrectly spelt Enzo Amore's soft catchphrase as S-W-A-F-T, the most hardcore of WrestleTalk viewers have coined themselves the SWAFT Nation. One way to show your support is by holding up SWAFT Nation signs at wrestling events, like Courtney Allen Perry's at Sunday's Clash of Champions. The beauty is, everyone else just thinks you're bad at spelling. Not only did the sign make it onto Reddit Squared Circle page with the title, Too Bad no one could spell it out for them, but it was also brought up in this week's Figure 4 newsletter, with none other than Vinny from the Brian and Vinny podcast writing, a fan held up a sign reading Swaft Nation. Enzo literally spells it out, and literally tells you he is spelling it out, and you still spelled it wrong. So go forth, Swaft Nation, and confuse everyone, just like conflicting reports on WWE injuries. Following his successful Clash of Champions defense against Jinder Mahal on Sunday night, a rumor started going around that AJ Styles had recently suffered a knee injury, which would be terrible timing for the WWE Champion just a month out from the road to WrestleMania. Thankfully, Dave Meltzer from the Wrestling Observer has denied this on Twitter. Stories going around about a Styles knee injury tonight are false. Not only did AJ wrestle in SmackDown's six-man tag main event last night, he also beat Jinder again at Monday's live event, showing he's still working a full schedule. Unlike when Jinder was reportedly working through injury several months ago, where he was protected in multi-man matches. Sadly, the same can't be said for Dean Ambrose. According to WWE.com, Ambrose sustained a qualm injury on this week's Raw. Anything but the qualm, which PW Insider revealed was actually covering up for Dean's very real elbow issue. WWE.com has now given the update, an MRI has shown suspicion for a high-grade triceps tendon injury, possibly a tear. So he is undergoing surgical exploration and most likely surgical repair of the torn triceps tendon. There's no word yet how long this would put Ambrose out for, but it's feared to be at least a several month absence. With Dean possibly out for WrestleMania season, WWE might be forced to debut a new team to feud with Raw's current tag champs. PW Insider is reporting that both Ricochet and War Machine are the latest NXT signings, and they'll be announced in January. War Machine currently wrestle for Ring of Honor, and are both enormous, with Roe and Hanson standing at 6 foot 2 and 6 foot 3 respectively, and at a combined weight of 550 pounds, which is about the entire cruiserweight division. Ricochet, meanwhile, is one of the most decorated non-WWE wrestlers in the world. Being Lucha Underground's inaugural champion as Prince Puma, 2014's Best of the Super Juniors winner, and the only two-time winner of PWG's Battle of Los Angeles. PW Insider also teased other names as potentially being signed, including a very prominent female independent talent. Is Dolph Ziggler leaving WWE? And is Trish Stratus returning for the Royal Rumble? Click the videos to find out. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.